We're going to transition now to our student presenter, and I love this. What I love the most about this conference is, like George talked about yesterday, is that we do have young people here because that's what it's all about. So often we spend so much of our time as educators focused on what we teach and how we teach, but in my opinion, we do not spend enough time focused on who we teach, and that's the magic of where this all goes down. Our student presenter today is a guy that I've had the opportunity to get to meet and get to know on a personal level. He's one of the most talented, most intellectual young men that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Coming to you from LaSalle, Peru High School, the class of 2019 graduate, please welcome Matt Klein. Good morning, everyone. I just want to start off by saying I am thrilled to be here right now, sharing how I found my passion and how Justin's Renaissance played a crucial role in doing so. So let's start off, who am I? Well, the high school I graduated from has a Renaissance club, and you know, I could never understand why the, why the school had a Medieval Times Club. Um, I ended up getting involved in the club about halfway through freshman year, and then I quickly realized that Renaissance has nothing to do with castles and swords. <laughs> Ever since I walked out of that first student-led committee meeting during freshman year, I learned just how valuable and essential the program really is for schools. I ended up being president of the Renaissance Club for two years, student council president, as well as future business leaders of America president. So, needless to say, I was pretty involved in high school, and I can't stress enough how much of an impact the program had, not only on my high school journey, but on my life as well. So right now, I'm 19 years old, I'm a sophomore at Illinois Valley Community College, and I'm also the student trustee. In addition, I volunteer about 10 hours a week with a nonprofit called the Perfectly Flawed Foundation that's focused on strengthening communities affected by substance abuse by investing in children, individuals, and education. And I'm also currently working for our local chamber of commerce, which promotes business in my area. So how do I manage all that and run my own business? Well, we'll get to that soon. And it all started with my first Jocelyn's Renaissance National Conference back in 2016. And I've come back every year since then. Here's a photo of my group at my first ever JRNC. You can see me in the middle here. Um, I'm standing with my high school renaissance club, LaSalle Peru Township High School. There. And actually, fun fact, my sister is also on the leadership team because I've convinced her to get on the Renaissance boat, as well as my parents are here supporting me today. So I was talking with one of their coordinators the other day about my speech. And you know, instead of them asking like, oh, what's your speech about? Or are you excited and stuff? The first thing she said was, am I in it? So uh, we had to make some last minute changes. And over here on the right, we have Hall of Famer Dean Gans. And on the left, we have 2018 Educator of the Year, Andrea Henson. <laughs> Seriously though guys, I cannot thank them enough for everything they do, not only for the LP Renaissance program, but for always being there no matter what. And being a coordinator is not easy of a Renaissance program. It's probably one of the hardest jobs in the whole school. So let's take a moment to give all of our coordinators in the room a round of applause. So in addition, I also have my own video production company, which um, I'm going to be speaking about here soon. So how did that get started and how did I get into my passion? Well, let's kind of quickly go back to when I was in fifth grade. Um, that was a time when I was very involved in musicals. I was always in music when I was younger. Here you can see I was quite the soldier in Mulan. Um, junior, I'm not sure if anyone has ever done that show, but when I was younger, I just really enjoyed musicals. And um, in high school, when high school got here, I did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So that was a fun show too. But no, at the time, seriously, that's what I like to do. Um, all my friends were in the musicals and everything. And then I did the musical freshman and sophomore year of high school. And then junior year came around. And I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. You know, at the time I was thinking, oh, well, this video stuff seems kind of cool. Maybe I want to get into that. Um, but, you know, all my friends were in the musical, you know, they're all telling me, oh, you gotta do it and everything, all the teachers and all that, and I just didn't know. I, I wanted to make a change, and everyone was, everyone was telling me to try out an audition, but my heart was telling me something else. 
and I just had that other interest that I wanted to pursue. So, junior year of high school, I decided literally the last second, the last day, not to audition for the musical, and it was hard at the time. I had no clue if what I was doing was the right thing or not, but I trusted my gut that it would all work out. So, I didn't go out for the musical, and in my free time in 2017, I started Matthew Klein Films, which now is a creative video production company. And since then, I've created hundreds of videos and worked with small businesses, cities, music artists, and more. Actually, this photo right here won first place in the 2017 U.S. National Weather Service Photo Contest. So, thank you. So, how did I do that? Well, believing in myself gave me the courage to follow my passion, even when it seemed impossible so many times. So I found something I was interested in, and from here, I instantly thought, how can we work this in our school renaissance program? You know, I was a junior in high school, I was like, here's some cool stuff we can probably do. So we created a short teaser and kickoff video for our rallies, and it instantly took them to the next level. In a second here, I'm going to show you an example of one of those kickoff videos. Essentially, we asked students to submit video clips, and then we showed them on the screen to kick off the rally. This was one of our best rally kickoffs ever, as it instantly got all the students engaged, and they were constantly looking and shouting when they came on the screen. Let's take a look. Take a moment and ask yourself, maybe there's something you do right now, something unique, that how can you incorporate that into your renaissance program this fall? You know, I mentioned that I go to a community college, and the main reason I chose to stay in the area and not go far away was because of my passion. In high school, junior year too, but especially senior year, I think it's really um, overstressed. You know, you spend so much time searching for that perfect for you university, and I did the same thing. I visited so many schools and everything, and they were all great and everything, but the whole time I kept thinking to myself secretly that if I go to a four-year university and leave home, I would probably have to start over with my video production business, and I didn't want to do that. Um, so really, that just led me to pick a passion and no matter what it is, you'll never work a day in your life. And I love doing what I do now. Um, you're probably wondering, how do you know what your passion is? Maybe you have something you like doing now? Well, ask yourself, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? Mike Smith says this all the time, and it couldn't be more true. Is this something you enjoy doing? Do you genuinely enjoy doing it? You know, that could be it. Um, does time go by fast when you're doing this? You know, I can get up, eat breakfast, start editing a video, and next thing you know, eight hours have gone by and it's time for dinner and it only feels like 30 minutes. You also have to ask yourself, are you okay with failing and learning from your mistakes? I've had countless video projects that I've scratched last second or haven't worked out, but what's important is what I learned. When I was younger, probably around like 13 or 14, I um, had just one of those cheap little drones from Walmart, you know? And I went up and I put it up in the air one day and it never came back. I guess it was too windy that day or something. But I, I got really discouraged and from then I didn't really do anything for a couple years. But then junior year of high school, thankfully I got back on into it and I couldn't be more happy about it. And last, what do you like learning about? Um, the most important thing really is learning. It has to be something that you need to learn. And in reality, we're told that we need to be educated and then we'll be successful. Well, it's actually the opposite. Our passion needs to push us forward and become the driver of our education. So find what you love, and if you haven't found it yet, don't stop looking. You'll know when you found it, as Steve Jobs once said. And what is this gonna lead you to? There's not gonna be anything better from not only the personal benefits, but to everyone else as well. And at that point, you'll really remember why you started in the first place. I've had the honor of actually meeting the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, 
um, a few times, and one of my favorite quotes from Tim is the following. Our goal has never been to make the most. It's always been to make the best. So I think that quote is really fitting here at JRNC because you're going to hear so many different ideas. You've probably already heard a million, and those are great ideas to implement at your school. But then rather than trying to pick a million different ideas and do a whole bunch of them this year, I challenge you and to just pick a few of those and really put 110% into them. And you won't find anything more rewarding than seeing those results. Thank you. Is that young man, right? Again, yeah, for sure. And like I said, I've had the opportunity to do some work with him. If you saw the recap video from yesterday that we posted on Jocelyn's Renaissance social media, Matt actually filmed that and put that together for us yesterday. So, like, that's the type of work, the caliber of work that he produces. And they're just stereotyped, there's just stigma. And George talked about this a, a little bit yesterday as well that our kids, they have to graduate from high school and they have to go to college and graduate from college and then they maybe even have to get an advanced degree before they can make an impact. And the truth is, a lot of the times as adults, we just need to get out of their way and let them go. And Matt's a perfect example of that right there.